Hey guys, Tyson here with Lucid Press. I'm going to walk you through how to create a table in just a few minutes. The settings are slightly different in Lucid Press than they are in Excel or Google Sheets. So if you import a document from InDesign, most likely your table is going to look different. Luckily, I'll give you all the tips that you'll need. And once you figure it out, it's super easy. If you want to follow along, I'm going to use a free Lucid Press template it's under the menu section and it's called Fresh Catch. You can also click the link in the description to open it in Lucid Press. I really like seafood, so of course I selected this template. If you're feeling really generous and want to send me an order of sushi, you can put Lucid as the address. I'm going to recreate this portion of the menu in a table and I'm going to delete this side so I can compare it back and forth. In the left panel, click on the table button. You can then select the number of rows and columns. I'm going to want two columns and 10 rows. You can drag the corners to resize the table. Now I'm going to copy the dish name and paste it in my table. The first tip that I have for you guys, if you single click, the cell is selected. So if you paste it, it's going to keep the default table formatting. However, if you double click and then paste, it will keep the same formatting as what you copied it from. I'm going to drag this line out to give the dish name more room. Now I'm going to copy and paste the description. It looks like I need less space from the dish name and the description, so I'm going to click on this line and adjust the spacing. So you'll notice that you can't make the line any smaller. Um, let's change that. In the right panel, I'm going to adjust the padding under spacing. Now that the position looks good, you'll notice that the description goes across the whole table. So I just need to merge these two cells. So my tip number two is you can select multiple cells by holding down control and then you go to the right panel and under the table tab you can merge the cells. Tip number three, if you need to adjust how close your text gets to the edge of a table, select your cells and go to the right panel under the text tab. Under tabs and indents you can increase the left or the right tabs. Now let's get rid of these lines. For this tip go to the right panel under borders. You can quickly make changes uh, right now I have all the border, this option selected, so if you wanted to change the color it will apply to the entire table. If I wanted just this middle line to be blue, I would select the middle line button and then change the color. If I wanted all the middle horizontal lines to be a different color, you would click the middle horizontal line. So as great as that looks, let's make this table a little more presentable. I don't want any outside borders, so I will click the outside border button and set it to zero. I also don't like this middle line. Um, however, I do want a line underneath each dish name, so I'm going to select these description cells, and I want to turn off this bottom line. This takes a bit of thinking, but once you get the hang of it, it, it really is super easy. Now, I don't really want this green color. I want a super light gray. So I'm going to click the top line button. Pretty cool, right? I'll show you some other cool features for tables. Over in the right panel, we have these quick fill options. So if you want every other row to be a different color, I can just click this button and you're all done. Same thing if you wanted a different color for every other column. If you need to quickly add a new column or row, you have these quick options here. Um, add a column to the left. If you don't need it, hold down shift to quickly select and then click um, this delete button over on the right. You can also find these settings by right clicking and going to table options. I also don't want my table to really change, so I'm going to turn off the auto expand to fit text button. And lastly, if you need to change the fill color of a cell, just select your cells and then click your fill option on the right. And that's it. Go ahead and practice on your own. If you have any questions, be sure to visit our article about tables, which is linked in the description below.